Hey guys, um, so I am kind of not, uh, I've been focusing on Ranko charts and how they work, like especially with Forex, because I'm noticing you can find some really easy plays on this. Watch this guy right here. This is how it would be plotted on an intraday basis. This is uh, Ranko 15 minutes nifty chart, 15 points. I use the 15 fixed points. I don't take the help of ATR for this particular chart, right? And I have plotted EMA, 13 on this particular thing. That's EMA it. is 13. EMA of Renko. Uh, what happens is like, as long as we move, unless and until I get a price break below the EMA 13, I will continue with this particular system. My original condition was what? The moment I see a green, I will enter long. The moment I see a red, I will exit. Now I am saying I am taking a help of EMA 13 and riding this particular thing, and I need to get a red take below EMA 13, only then I will exit, otherwise I won't exit. Yes. Okay, man, he talks really fast, and he's, anyway. Um, so this EMA 13, so he's normally, I'd buy, right, I'd buy right here, I'd sell at the first red. I'd buy right here, I'd sell at the first red. Well, that's fine, you, you do that. But what he's saying is, is that he wants to make his trade even more safe, because on any EMA, if you're above it, it's generally bullish, and if you're below it, you're generally bearish, okay? So he's he's actually making his trading even more secure, if that makes sense. So let's look at this. Let's look at his uh, way of doing things. This is a um, completely different chart, even though it looks eerily similar. Isn't that crazy? So we're just going to, uh, real fast, we're going to look at what he does and see if it works just on today's charts, okay? I got the 13 here. Let's look at it and see what happens. Um, see if we can't make a trade or two. So let's start um, start right here. Under as, as it goes under here, so about right here. Let's go from here down to about right there. That's 98 pips. Okay, so that's 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 pretty good. Um, uh, let's go up. Let's see here. You could do it here. You could do this down to here to there here to there. Let's go right here. Boom. Down here. That's 155 pips and it bounced up. So now we're at 106. Hey, I'd take 106, wouldn't you? Um, let's do one more from here. Now this is interesting because he gets in here, right? He comes up and he waits until it crosses to get out. So he that's 72, but he gets all the way up to double that, almost 150. So you could take your 150 or you could just take your 72 wait until it crosses back over again and then you take it again and go from here all the way up see see why you didn't get out right here because it didn't cross under it's still it's still bullish it goes doesn't cross under he still is not out he goes way up here to about right there 359 that's pretty awesome so uh 359 pips that's that's pretty good move isn't it Anyway, um, let's see here. Or Now let's go down right here. Look at this. So, boom, you're here. Oh, doesn't cross over, so he stays in. Keeps going down. Doesn't cross over yet until right there. 117. Could have gotten 183. So then let's get out one more time. So he gets out, locks in his profits, and goes here again. Gets in right here. Ooh, that's uh, 150 something, all the way up to 100 and 100 pips or so. So there you go. That's pretty cool, isn't it? Um, he's actually securing his trading tighter uh, around that 13 EMA, which I think is is amazing because you know if he'd have just it, it, like he said, if I'd have just bought here and got out there, yeah, it might be great. But I don't know. For instance, like. Uh, let's see if I can't find one in particular. There are instances where it wouldn't work. You know, one in, and then he'd get out here, but he'd miss this whole move. You see? See, if he got in here, he'd go there, down, and get out. All right? So so he'd get in here and do that same thing, I guess. But this other way, he gets in right here. He, he, he does give these up, but he gets in here, goes all the way up, and gets out right there. Now, it could be splitting hairs, but either way, it looks like, based on this, this is a traditional 15 
dollar move. The, each one of these is fifteen dollars in movement. So, and I want you to think about this. If it's a pip, it's times five times one, whatever you calculate when you're doing your um, forex trading. I think it's pretty cool. Uh, it looks pretty solid, and we're gonna play with it. I wanted to pass along to you so you could see it.